Hello everybody, in today's video I would like to show you guys what are the features of Windows 11 build 22538. So let's begin with the first one. There are some updates for the voice access. So they introduced voice access back in the build 22518 and it is a new experience to control the PC with just your voice and in this build, build there are some updates for voice access for the Windows insider, insiders. So using touch keyboard with voice access. Now you can use the touch keyboard with the voice access to spell words like names, emails, addresses, spell numbers, enter numbers and phone numbers and addresses, enter punctuation marks and symbols, emojis, etc. So for example, to open the touch keyboard, we need to say show keyboard and to hide the touch keyboard, we need to just say hide keyboard and to click or touch on a keyboard we say click and the number and like this so just to test it out we are going to fire up um, voice access let's go to start and let's uh, run notepad first and voice access the app voice access wake up Show keyboard. Click forty one. Let's close voice access. So that was one of the feature. Now the updated entry point for widgets and weather on the taskbar. First introduced with the build two two five one eight should now be available to Windows insiders in the in the dev channel so the widgets tab as you can see it has moved to this side but it's not showing the correct you know the icon so I found find that after a couple of clicks it changes to the required icon the correct one rather In Alt plus tab task view and snap assist, the focus rectangle that shows what is selected will now use the chosen accent color of your PC. Now for me, I cannot change it because Windows is not activated, but you see this part, right? That will change according to the accent color that you choose in Windows 11. Also, the updated IMEs and touch keyboard design, design now will also show up in the lock screen. Few more features of this build are uh, they are beginning to roll out the ability of voice typing to download speech packs from the Microsoft Store for device based speech recognition that provides a better performance of the transcription. They are also experimenting with improving the discoverability of certain input features in various areas across the operating system. Also for those who need it, they can access ncpa.cpl directly again. They have also added HTTPS boot for Hyper-V Generation 2 VMs. The feature is enabled by default. And for PCs that support it, display calibration is now directly available under settings display HDR instead of having to open a separate settings page so for display calibration we can go to settings display and HDR here we can do the calibration For the next part, that is the task manager, I was unsure whether to cover this or not. By default, you get this task manager, which I'm going to show up in a second, which will show up in a second. This is the normal task manager, but there is also a new one that is there, which is uh, which responds to dark or light theme on Windows 11. So in order to get that, we need to get a tool that is a Vive tool from GitHub. So let's just uh, download the zip and we need to just extract everything over there and that's it done. So 
let's uh, do one thing let's start this as admin uh, inside downloads sorry oops yeah so let's go for this one again Wait, draw should be enter. Uh, well, I think I forgot to put a space. Yeah, I forgot to put a space here. So let's put a space. Yeah, there we go. A bit different number for this one. It's 3590. 90 35 90 80 98 okay now let's start task manager and there we have the all new task manager so let's close the other windows and this is the new task manager which follows the design language of Windows 11 in the performance tab okay if we go to the performance tab it doesn't work it just stops re responding in such a case we have to just close all the windows and restart the task manager I'm opening another instance because that is not working here is app history the amount of usage time and all everything will be present here the startup apps appears in a separate tab like this from where you can see and that's it these buttons are do not work as of now so if we try to end the task let's see if it ends or not no it doesn't maybe it's not working on that okay it doesn't so we can also group accordingly or view the list accordingly using this command in settings we can change the app theme from light to dark or use system settings the change is not reflected now I think because Windows version is not activated so we can change the update speed also and by default which page opens up we can also change that so that's it there are rounded corners the mica effect is also present in this version of task manager i hope that file explorer also gets a kind of ui redesign to make it a more modern one because i practically it just got a ribbon update instead of a complete ui update just like the task manager Although in task manager these options and all they also re resemble a much of that Windows 10 style instead of the Windows 11 style of selection like this one a bit rounded corner there so such places do need a bit of change so that's it for this build thank you so much for watching the video do like share and subscribe and thanks again